Olorito be has threatened to commit suicide if the only would not give her a listening ear. <laughs> and based on this listening ear Toby is requesting for, it is not just for only to hear her and let things go, it's for the only to reconsider on taking her back as his wife. As we speak right now, Olori Toby is threatening to commit suicide. This is not the first time we are hearing Toby threatening to commit suicide because Toby threatened to commit suicide if the Yeye Loa title is not given to her. Yeah, she threatened to commit suicide. And then from there, Toby is threatening to commit suicide again. So this her threatening to commit suicide of a thing, it is indeed become, becoming a norm. And we don't know how far it is working for her. Seriously, we don't know. Because if it is truly working, then it would have yielded results by now. Yes, it would have yielded results for her. But we don't know how it is working. That day in, day out, she threatens to commit suicide and every single thing remains the same. So my people, look, from all indications, Lori Toby have lost vigorously. And right now she have resolved to cheap threats. Yes, there is nothing we can call this rather than cheap threats. So right now, Toby have resolved to threatening the only and threatening every other person that cares to listen to her. That she will commit suicide or I will kill myself. I will do this if, um, if you don't do what I want. If you don't do what I want. The last time we all checked, even if you commit suicide, even if you do whatever you want to do, and the only still chooses not to give you a listening ear, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. But we don't know how Toby tends to calculate her things, in what perspective she comes out for, in what dimension she, she takes to look at her things vigorously before she begins to declare them because her declarations are always heavy. Yes, her declarations come with power. Yes, because you saying that I will kill myself if you don't do this, I will, I will take my life if you don't do this, it is, it is heavy. Yes, maybe she, she doesn't know, but us listening to it, we can categorically say that these are words that Toby should be careful Why saying them. But someone like Toby, what is she scared of? She's scared of nothing. These are things that people live rage on. Yeah, these are things that people live rage on. And nobody needs to tell Toby all of these things. Yes, nobody needs to tell Toby that. These are things that people categorically take advantage of and they begin to advance on them. Nobody needs to tell Toby any of these things. But as the whole matter is on ground right now, no, my people, you know, get waiting you won't talk right now because will you go tell the owner that eh, your wife Oluri Toby wants to return back into the palace and she's threatening to kill herself or that if you don't give her a listening ear, if you don't reconsider all this, your divorce, wahala of a thing, and then she has to return back into the palace. The last time we checked, this same person, when things were beginning to be so heated, when things were getting to that point that they would even get escalated in the palace, the only thing Toby cared about was 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 doing this thing. The only thing Toby ever cared about was getting the yellow title. And people were like, ah, in the midst of this whole bus boss, the only thing on Toby's mind is to get a Yeloa title. A title that, if you ask Olori Naomi, he don't even tire herself. But simply because what? It was rightfully given to her by the woman of Elife. When she was married and brought into the palace. So it's not a title she can just wake up one morning and discard it like that. That's why you see all this way when these women are fighting, when they are doing this, they are doing that. Naomi does not even talk. Because what she knows is that what the title is hers. You know, get it where they want you to take her from her. Yeah, they know boy you were. Go and rethink it very well. So right now, this is this is Toby's threat. This is what Toby is threatening to do. And you see, from all realization, we knew it will resolve to this one day. Yes, we all knew it will get to this one day. Because the way Toby was doing every single thing, though, it will be more like ah, ah, Toby have gotten some assurance from somewhere. That, that do it, I will back you up. Go ahead and do it, I will back you up. That is how the whole thing was seeming. Like there is someone somewhere assuring Oluri Toby that go ahead and do whatsoever you want to do. I am here and I will back you up. So at some point, it became, it became you know, a thing to even ask, Toby, where are you getting your own audacity from? Because from all indication, every other person 
in the palace trades with caution. But the only person who does not trade with caution is Toby. Toby does not even care how these things will end. She does not care how these things will play out. Neither does Toby even care how this whole thing will resolve. That is none of her concern. Toby's concern is that the end of it all, she wants to be the one at the smiling end of the matter. She doesn't care how it goes. She doesn't care how it plays out. She doesn't care how every single thing, you know, happens. All Toby wants or all Toby looks out for is to be the one at the smiling end of the matter. And you know the laws of life. Maybe life does not have laws, so, but categorically from what we see, nothing will play out like that for Toby. Yes, you cannot live so unjust. And then you would want to be the one smiling at the end of every single incident, every single scenario, every single moment, you will be the one smiling. Things don't work like that. Yes, that's the part that Toby is not understanding. Things don't work like that. But you see, as it is right now, no, hmm, that is only with Toby for you. Toby is there telling the only she will kill herself. Tor. Maybe we'll wait and see you. Would they only give Toby the listening ear? Because the last time when she spoke about the hell what tied to only did not even say anything and Toby did not kill herself. <laughs> so now we don't know if if the only still does not say something, Toby will go ahead and, and kill herself or she will still wait to make another threat. Hmm. It's beginning to be funny. But to this woman we know it is not. Yes, to this woman we know it is not. And you see as this whole matter is on ground right now, you know get anything we won't do. You know get anything we person we won't do. Even if you try to tell Toby that this is easy, Toby will not hear you. Even if you tell her that Liko, just look at this loophole, Toby will not hear you. But at the end of the day, they would they would even want to say that. And people were these people were that. These same people when they try to tell you stop, you will not stop. So as it is right now, this matter remains solidly solidly honest decision whatsoever only decides on the matter all of us the online in-laws we are there supporting him because the end of it just in fact it does not justify the beginning again i beg it does not this woman it does not because what they are doing right now is let me just remain in the palace and this attitude of let me just remain in the palace how far is it going to take them yes how far is it going to take them we don't even know again. So my people, make we leave matter for Mataya. So if Olui Toby wants to kill herself, let her go ahead and kill herself. And if she still wants to remain alive to make for that threat, let her remain alive. Because as it is right now, in fact, it should have been so obvious to her that the only does not care. And the man is a man who, when he turns his back on something, Lobato, he is not coming back. Yes, Toby should have known that by now.